Jehovah upholdeth all that fall, and raiseth up all that are bowed down. Psalm 145.14 Comforting Words How soothing the thought for the weary head to lean upon, that in the midst of our bitterest trials we have the great God to uphold us and raise us up. He seems to say, Dry your tears, for I am by your side, you poor afflicted one. I, as God, infinite in wisdom, knowledge, and love, am aware of all the peculiarities of your case, and I can be to you better than the best and tenderest of human friends. Is it sickness that has blanched your cheek and chained you down for weeks, months, or maybe years to a couch of pain and languishing? He promises, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, John 14, 18, KJV. Is it your earthly treasure that moth and rust have corrupted? I will give you compensating riches beyond the spoiler's touch and the reach of capricious fortune. Is it bereavement that has traced its lines of sadness on your brow, created vacant chairs in your household, and left you feeling stripped and desolate? Be still, I will come and fill up those aching words with my own loving presence. Is it sin that is making sad your countenance? If you are wearied by the successive failure of all sinful sources of satisfaction and happiness, turn to me, the living God, and there can be peace and forgiveness. I, I am he that blotteth out thy transgressions and will not remember thy sins isaiah forty three twenty five do not doubt his ability or willingness to bring you comfort he is the god of all encouragement two corinthians one three also our lord jesus by the exquisite sensibilities of his human nature is supremely qualified to help with every sorrow j r macduff when clouds hang o'er our darkened path will check our dread, each doubt reprove, for here each saint sweet comfort hath that God is love. J. Boring